Yeah, I mean, the cases are just increasing exponentially. This morning we had a new press conference from the government where they said that now 10,000 people a day are testing positive. Uh, that means that at this moment, one in every 100 Belgians is infectious. Now, of course, a big explainer for why the cases are going up is because there's just so much more testing happening right now. Uh, but the authorities say that increase in testing, the rate doesn't match the increase in positives, uh, that actually that rate is going up much more. And the rate of hospitalizations has them very concerned. Right now, 500 people in Belgium are in the intensive care unit in the hospital. Uh, now, the Francophone part of Belgium, Wallonia and Brussels, they are the worst affected region in Europe at the moment. Uh, so right now there is a real climate of worry here about how fast these cases are increasing. This morning they said that by next week they expect the cases could be increasing to 20,000 a day. And yet earlier we were expecting uh, Belgium to announce a full lockdown. It didn't happen. Yeah, this Friday they were always scheduled to announce the uh, sports and culture restrictions. Uh, but what they decided to do was nothing major. Uh, they are keeping gyms and pools open, unlike in France, in the nine largest cities, gyms and pools are closed. They're keeping them open. Uh, they're, make, they're stopping amateur sports games, but professional sports games can go ahead, uh, but they can't have an audience. Also, universities are being kept to 20% capacity in classes. My understanding is universities were doing that anyway. The key is they're keeping schools open, they're keeping stores and shops open, uh, and they're not imposing a full lockdown. But they said in that press conference this morning, look, we really need people to cooperate with the restrictions that are in place, otherwise we are looking at a full lockdown. They desperately do not want to close the schools. They know how difficult that makes things uh, for people who are working from home in terms of childcare. So they're hoping that they can get some kind of positive indication by mid next week, otherwise we will have to go into a full lockdown here. Dave Keating, what's the latest on Belgium's foreign minister who was admitted to intensive care earlier this week? Yes, Sophie Vilmes, she was the prime minister here until earlier this month. Uh, we got the news that she's tested positive, and then after that we got the news that she's actually in intensive care. Uh, apparently she's still in intensive care, as far as we know. Uh, and that has really spooked people here. She's relatively young. She's only 45 years old. Uh, she's a woman, and she's physically fit. A lot of the world leaders who have gone into hospital with COVID have been older and overweight. So this has really surprised people, and it's really... Hit, made the message hit home that anybody can have complications with this and end up with a very serious case that brings them into hospital. Uh, she is quite well liked here, so people are really hoping for her speedy recovery. Dave Keating reporting live from Brussels. Many thanks uh, for that update. Elsewhere uh, around the continent, again, it's that tightening of restrictions. Karis Garland has more. He 